Okay, now that the Snapdragon 888 and to 2 benchmark runtime and Geekbench performance scores that everyone cares about has been finally released, I think now is the time to make the comparison. So let's get to business. Just like every other time, Qualcomm always comes to its own GPU and in this case, it shifts from the Anino 650 to Anino 660, another milestone in the history of Qualcomm's GPU. With a 35% increase in performance and 20% more power efficiency. So how does that one translate to real-life user's experience? It's simple, it just got even better. It means if you purchase a 2021 flagship smartphone that is powered by Qualcomm Snapdragon 888, you get increase in gaming and graphics surgery with 20% less power consumption. The Snapdragon 888 also makes Qualcomm the first company to officially launch a chipset with the ARM Cortex S1, which is the prime core combined with the Thierry ARM Cortex A78 cores. Although the frequencies are identical to the original Snapdragon 865, the S1 however focuses on maximizing performance at the cost of less power efficiency. So Qualcomm recently released the Antutu score and on the average, the Snapdragon 888 gets 735,000 overall points. The CPU got 195,000 points on the average, while the GPU at its peak got nearly 320,000 points. When compared to the Snapdragon 865 Plus, the margin is 10% to 50% better in the advantage of the Snapdragon 888. On Geekbench, the Snapdragon 888 performance average single core scored 1,135 points and multi core score was 3,794. When compared to Snapdragon 865 Plus, the SD888 is 25% and 20% higher than its predecessor. Not to forget that the Snapdragon 888 was fabricated on 5 nanometer process, while its predecessor got 7 nanometer fabrication process. So, the advantage here the SD888 is better. The camera and image processing also got better on the Snapdragon 888. With this chipset, smartphone can now run three independent camera models concurrently. The new Qualcomm chip ISP would allow three 28 megapixel sensors with zero shooter lag to be used simultaneously. That means your main camera, telephoto, and ultra wide cameras can now record simultaneously and function by delivering a better user experience at the same time. In the areas of artificial intelligence and machine learning, 5G connectivity and display swiftness, the Snapdragon 888 also got better. So, where is this comparison leading to? Overall, it's simple. The Snapdragon 888 is the better one here in this comparison. And that also translates to one thing. Flashy smartphones that will come out this 2021 that will come out 2021 will be more expensive because they will have so much to deliver to make the ecosystem of smartphones in Android world more friendly and even better. So the price will be you paying high costs, high money to purchase these smartphones. So tell me, are you or do you believe to the Tim Quacom? If yes, please proudly indicate in the comment section because right now the SD888 is bossing the chipset in the tech industry. So also if you know you've learned one or two in this video, please do well to comment in the section below and also give the video a thumbs up, share and please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on the post notification. So don't miss out for further don't miss out on further comparisons. It's my dear, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon in my next one.